All right, let's just do it on our turn. Let's not get too greedy. One, two, three, four. This is the combo. It's the combo, guys. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so much damage, so much beautiful, beautiful damage from Omnath. What is up, Slayers? Welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. It's Slay Anything, and today we are playing this ridiculous, like, four, maybe five color Omnath Reanimator deck, and it is absolutely busted when we can pull off the combo. You guys have seen this shell before, so it's pretty familiar. We're either going to be sending a bunch of creatures to our graveyard with old stick fingers and then bringing them back with Haunting Voyage, or the more optimal plan sometimes, we've got the world tree which allows us to bring all of those creatures from our library into the battlefield with maskwood nexus so basically we're going to be comboing off with omnath to try and get a one turn kill with its landfall abilities now if you've forgotten about omnath locus of creation i'll give you a quick reminder on what it does this is a elemental 4-4 that costs one colorless a red a green a white and a blue when it enters the battlefield you scry one and then it has a landfall ability that actually has three parts. So when the first land enters the battlefield, you gain four life. The second land enters the battlefield. It allows you to add a red, a green, a white, and a blue mana. And then the third land that enters the battlefield on that same turn, Omnath deals four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. So as you can see, this card is crazy. It's the only landfall card that has a three-part landfall effect. So the way we're going to absolutely destroy our opponents is with the third part where we deal four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker walker that we don't control basically we're going to be using that in tandem with calamity bearer which allows us to double the damage of a giant source we control with mask with nexus out omnath becomes a giant so that's absolutely sick and then the other part of the combo is ashaya soul of the wild which makes all of our non-token creatures into forest lands in addition to their other types so basically when we get all of those creatures coming into play at once it's going to trigger omnath's ability multiple times and if we get all four omnaths out we're actually going to be able to get Get all those triggers before we legend rule them and send three to the graveyard so we're still going to get those triggers we're going to get four damage each of those third time triggers on the landfall ability and then all of them are going to double once or even twice depending on the amount of calamity bears we have out on the field at that same time doing an enormous amount of damage just like a hilarious amount of damage but yeah that's it in a nutshell super easy combo to pull off right not really but we're going to test out to see how many times we can get on Omnath to pop off with this combo, and I am super hyped to play this one for you guys. So let's not dilly-dally. Without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. Okay, uh, I guess so. Let's keep it. It's a pretty wild hand, but we've got two sweepers to protect us. We've got the Maskwood Nexus, so might as well just try it. A uh, Swamp. Ascendant pack leader. That's terrible. It's going to foretell. I pray tell. So we got ourselves a little werewolf deck, possibly. Gross. Hate to see it. I really don't like those werewolf guys. Those are pretty scary, I'd say. Um. Okay. We end the turn here. So the problem with this is that we, if we had destroyed this, they would have played another wolf, which I think would have been very scary. Play this as second green. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we gotta figure out what we can do here. We might be able to just ramp up to blood on the snow mana, which might be what we wanna do. Feels rough. For sure. Okay. So we block here. Great treasure token. Alright, Path of Peril's great. And that is exactly what we're doing. Wah, 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 wah. 
Yeah, that's exactly why I included those in here. It's pretty important, especially while we're trying to get our kind of bearing. Yep, I can swing for three. Gross. We hate to see it. Oh man, yeah, this is pretty dangerous as well. We could play a Shia, and that gives us a 5-5 that the opponent may not want to swing in on. But it feels rough, for sure. Okay, um, I hate the no land. The no land really sucks. kind of feel like we gotta do this. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh man, that was, uh, yeah, this gets out of hand super quickly. Pack Song Pup with Ascendant Pack Leader. Very, very powerful. GG, opponent. Uh, pretty shit hand. This is a card draw spell. We'll keep it. We're gonna keep it. I want to see how far a shit hand can take us. <laughs> All right. The next, and the turn, and the turn, and the turn. This opponent is on some Orzhov. Let's see. Orzhov? Are we going for Esper? No, we're just going for Orzhov. Sweet. So we got some clerics going on here. Hate to see that. Going, um, Plunder Forbidden. Okay. That's, uh, that's something. That's a something. I think our best shot really is to. Uh, okay, we're gonna meet hook for two here. I think it's better than just letting them swing in and pyre for something that's three casting costs. Okay, Righteous Valkyrie, sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Going Maskwood here. Second Righteous Valkyrie, gross. Okay, land. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. It's going um, blood on the snow. Get to bring back absolutely nothing. Lead Spellbinder, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm cool with that. Probably gonna go with Calamity Bearer here. Which is not bad for us, because we'll just play out Calamity Bear. Okay, um, yeah. Calamity Bear it is. We swinging in on the opponents here. In Pujatosh! Wait, really? They can... Oh, okay. It was uh, freaking Mimic. That's why. I was like, holy, that's intense. Alright, so we're going to swing in. Let's destroy all creatures. In a bit of life. A bit of strife. Lunark veteran, huh? Okay. And an angel of unity. Gross. Alright, let's play this for four. See what we can find in the old Yard of Graves. Okay. It's uh not awful. Do I have anything in here? I could get a uh, I could get anything, basically. I can get a Shia. Voice of the Blessed, okay. Wonderful. Path of Peril still hooks us up with something pretty saucy, I feel like. Um, I'm gonna guess that they probably are gonna get... Uh, oh, okay. Perfect. You hate to see it. Oh 
man. Okay. Uh, so what do we do here? Alright, we do that. So what have we gotten rid of? We've gotten rid of four Righteous Valkyries, so that's a huge deal. That is a very huge deal. Alright, now I've got a forecasting cause deadly dispute. Pretty scary. Alright, um... I think we should go next. We end the turn. What can I bring back? A Shia, Calamity Bear. Not quite enough. We need more. Getting rid of all their um, Valkyries is a, it's huge, but we did burn so many removal spells here. What was that? A Blood on the Snow, two Path of Perils, so yeah. Skin of Life, Resolve All, sure, 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 sure. What does the opponent bring back? Um, something for four. Okay, that's going to be annoying, super annoying. Maskwood Nexus token here. Sack that. Draw a couple of cards. Come on. You son of a gun. Alright, that's something actually. Alright, so we do this for... Three? <laughs> okay. Oh man. That was so gravy. So basically, we just went full control mode on the opponent, just taking down all of their creatures. Like, took down a good chunk of their really important creatures. Elite Spellbinder, Righteous Valkyrie. This was kind of their only hope to recover from that. But uh, yeah, GG, opponent. Okay. Uh, reason to keep is because we really hate ourselves. So, is that a good enough reason to keep this? Uh, I think we mull. Tough. Very tough. We'll keep it though. Shambling Ghast is a spell we can cast. And we'll have a total blast. The opponent played a Glass Pool Mimic, or a Glass Pool Shore. That's pretty interesting. We're gonna do no attacks in the turn and in the germs. We could have played a forest and prosperous innkeeper there, which is what we were supposed to play, but eh, I wasn't thinking about it. Didn't even cross me mind. All right, now we can play it. Uh, we'll do no attacks still. Shambling Gast is good, deadly dispute fodder. Hunters on Esper. So this is pretty interesting to think. What what are they playing? What's the deck doing? An Esper Inquisitor Captain deck. Okay. That's scary. Very, very scary. You hate to see it. No attacks in the turn. So we're gonna start taking quite a bit of damage soon. Elite spellbinder, huh? Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare take my other mask with Nexus, you son of a gun. Don't you dare do it. I'm warning ya. I'm warning ya, I am. Alright, no attacks on the churn. And the turn and the germs. Pyre of Heroes. Alright, this is about to get about 70 million times more disgusting. Unfortunately for us. 
Okay, so what do they pull out of their deck for three? Another Valkyrie. Oh, holy smokes. This is definitely Trouble Town USA for us. Alright, so we 100% need to get <laughs> blood on the snow here. Okay. I'm gonna activate this. Block here, block here. Good treasure token. Ah, the almighty no blood on the snow trick. Always gets us. Alright, so what do we do here? We'll play this as a green source. And I don't know, I feel like that's it. They could probably just get like some kind of removal spell off the top with their cleric, so GG, opponent. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll keep this one. It's a pretty solid opening hand, I'd say. We got this into this. Got some early-ish removal. Build our way up to Blood on the Snow. Should be somewhat protected against a few decks. So, play that. Shambling Guess. I was playing a zombie deck. Gross. We hate that. This. We'll swing in for one. The turn. Ugh. Okay. Sacrifice one. Sure. Don't kill that. Draw a couple of cardos. There you go, some land, not too bad. That, and uh, we'll go next, end the turn. Ghoulish procession. Okay, hey, take two. Take two, everybody. Let's play this, and um, I think we should go next, end the turn. Death Priest, oh, okay. You hate to see that. <sighs> okay. Play this. Was for two. You know, there's some stuff. Gain some life. Want to create some treasure tokens. Creates a little decayed zombie, which is just fine. Okay. That is not fine. My children drench them. My will cannot be denied. Not fine at all. I will get what I want. I will get what I want. Okay, um do we just blood on the snow here? What do I got going on in here? Not much. Okay, we're gonna blood on the snow. Destroy all planeswalkers. The light is insufferable. My shambling gas. Don't want them to get too much value off of that. Champion of the Perished. Okay. Mission zero. Sweet. Big two. Swamp. Deadly dispute here. Treasure token. This is only once per turn, so that's pretty sweet, actually. And then let's go ahead and destroy all creatures with mana value two or less. How about that? And we go next. And the turn. Okie dokie. Scary Oki. Let's play Omnath. Down the bottom. Gain some life. Go next in the turn. In the turn and in the germs. Tainted adversary, huh? Gross. 
Yeah, I hate to see that. Okay, play this. Mask with Nexus. I think we just go next. We do no attacks on the turn. We are officially at World Tree Mana here, guys. Are we gonna do it? Is the question. Are you guys ready to see the World Tree Omnath combo? Because if the opponent if the opponent doesn't scoop here, they don't know the world tree of pain that is about to happen. Ugh. Having that Omnath there kinda sucks though. Alright, um so what do we want to do? Alright, let's just do it on our turn. Let's not get too greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Okay, this is the combo. That's the combo, guys. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> so much damage. So much beautiful, beautiful damage from Omnath. We just did 32 damage with Omnath triggers. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the way the deck is supposed to work. So that is why I'm super hyped about this. GG opponent, that was super cool. Okay, hold on to it. Not gonna lie, not a fave. But seeing this and this gives me hope. Most likely a very short-lived hope. Alright, gross. No attacks. Okie dokie. Play this, play that. Next, no attacks in the turn. We're working our way toward Blood on the Snow Mana. Okay. Definitely gonna need to get to that Blood on the Snow Mana a little quicker, I'd say. Okay, hey, uh, my turn. It's not bad. Fortel, next. No attacks on the turn. Okie dokie. Sure. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so we're definitely gonna deadly dispute here. Take the two. Gross. Oh wait, what? What? What was going on there? Opponent can see the writing on the wall. Either that or mom was calling them for dinner. It's usually one of the two. <laughs> All right, well, GG, Eric. You can already tell this guy's gonna kick my ass. All right, we go first, but is there any point to going first with this hand? We're gonna mull. A little bit better. We'll keep this one. Drop that. And when I say a little bit better, I really mean that this is still not a very good hand, unfortunately. Old Stick Fingers is one of those cards that's a lot, a lot better when you have um, when you have way more mana. Okay, let's play a Shambling Ghast next. And the turn. Opponent is on Simic. Which is just absolutely disgusting. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright, um... Well, one thing I do know about this is that we can play Mask with Nexus here. Since there are no one mana counter spells. Snakeskin Veil, sweet. Okay. Alright, and uh, yeah, I guess we can just swing in too. This is pretty free. Can't block, so you might as well swing. Okie dokie. Skadioki. This 
This is a really interesting deck, like this tempo deck. Okie dokie. Swing in for one. Alright, so what do you think the chances are that they have uh, counter spells? I mean, if they have it, they have it. But if it's like Jawari Disruption, at least we can pay for it. Okay. Our treasure token. And the turn. We're only six mana away from living the dream, y'all. Delver of Secrets? Okay. Tenacious Pup is actually a really cool addition to that. Um, Alright, so we go... I uh, guess we go next. End the turn. See if the opponent's got uh, any instants or sorceries going on here. Sweet. Okay, so we're getting them to use a couple of these right now. You see a guard approach. Perfect. But we need some kind of removal spell. That would be pretty sick. Wouldn't mind seeing something like that. It's possible they have a fight spell. Ayu Groth. Okay. 6 5 Trample Vigilance. This may not help as much as I think it will. Alright, so what does this look like for us? Um, okay. You no attacks. And the turn of the germs. <sighs> Fading hope is definitely going to be a big old pain in my arse. Really? Okay. That's quite interesting. Uh, okay, so I either take 10 or I take far less than 10. Huh? Okay, move that. Next. The churn. Has to attackers. Yeah, the opponent's got a bounce spell. If they got a bounce spell, then we're <laughs> we're pretty screwed here. Okay, we're pretty screwed here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That was three. You see a guard approach. Definitely uncommon. That's RNG for you, but it's okay. It was a good game. It shows you why the deck is so interesting. Okay, such a shit hand. But we do have removal and a draw spell, so we might hold on to it. Shambling Est, Shambling Fest. Opponent is on blue ski. Looking like mono blue ski so far. Swing it for one. And the churn. Some more blue ski. Oh, okay. Field research, sweet. Um, let's go ahead and sack one. Get ourselves some treasure tokens. Okay. Fun times. Let us play a world tree and just go next on the turn. Tireless Anger. Angler, sweet. Okay, cool. I have not seen uh, a Tireless Angler deck yet, so I'm pretty excited about that. They're gonna be able to pull out some big ol' fishes. Just fun. Alright, so we play this, and... Let's play the Prosperous Innkeeper. Yeah, we go next. End the turn. It's crazy because once they get a second tireless angler, like they're just pulling creatures left and right off the top. And it's gonna start to get super insane. Oh show. Luckily we do have the blood on the snow, so 
We're not completely out of it, guys. Ooh, a kicker deck, too. Let's go. Alright, so we played this, and... Let's play Maskwood Nexus. But next, no attacks on the turn. One swings in for two, looks like. Chase. Okay, sweet. Very saucy. Control with our love making plans. I need to compete with as many as peaceful as possible. They're gonna be drawing quite crazily though. It does make me wonder, should I destroy this will have to do. Bruce of Drakes? Man, that is wild. Okay, my turn. I like it. I'm, I'm loving Tireless Angler. Like, that's so cool. I, I'm definitely going to make a, a Tireless Angler deck, for sure. Alright, so we play this, and... Do we get rid of their value with uh, Blood on the Snow? Need a better solution. Go next. No attacks on the turn. We're getting very close to uh, Maskwood Nexus mana here. I needed to get rid of the Jaces just because of the value they're getting off of card draw, but it's not like they're not getting value off of Roost of Drakes and Tireless Anger, so they're just going to be getting value galore, unfortunately. I hate to see it. Uh, let's go and block here. Our treasure token. Lots of treasures and lots of tokens. Alright, my turn. Uh, Alright, so what do we want to do here? Um, we could go... I think we just go meat hook here. Meat hook for... Four. some life. Play land. Just go next in the turn. And next turn we're actually just at world tree mana. So we can already pull off the ultimate world tree action. And that would be sick. I'd be super happy with that. The the opponent has a ton of cards in their hand. Like eight cards in hand. Like I can't imagine they don't have some kind of action. So yeah. What is Ben and Donner thinking about doing? Okay. We got something to uh try and counter one of our spells with. Okay. My turn. We should go next. And the turn. I kind of just gonna... I've learned my lesson from the last match where this happened. I think we just... World Tree EOT. What the hell does the opponent have in their hand, though? I'm like so confused. They've had a full ass hand this whole time. <laughs> All right, well we're doing it. We're doing it. Don't scoop opponents. Don't you dare scoop calamity bears. All right. I think that should cover it. One of those. One of those. <laughs> Let's go. All right. I think that should be it. <laughs> oh my god. Can we give the opponent the chop here though? Okay, plus four, ton of mana, and chop. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. And one more chop. <laughs> oh, that felt so good. So good, guys. Such a perfect way to end today's video, showing you guys the absolute bonkers power of uh, doing some Omnath Nexus combo and it was uh it was glorious right i think it was pretty glorious so let's go ahead and get to the deck breakdown right meow 
All right, Slayers, this looks like the perfect place to end today's video. As you can see, we pulled out the combo a couple of times and it was glorious each time. Omnath is back in uh, this format, so it's going to be interesting to see what people do with it. I suspect a lot of landfall decks will be making their way back, but with me, you know how I feel about these reanimator decks. I just wanted to get it all done in one single turn, just absolutely slam our opponents, and Omnath really does that, um, being able to trigger all of the land fall abilities mixed with calamity bear we just crushed our opponents it was super sick i love this combo i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed playing it and if you did please remember to chop that like and subscribe button for me because it does help me out so so much and most of all it allows me to grow the slayers den community which honestly is the best part about running an mtg theme channel right i want you guys to tell me what you guys love about these new cards this new format i just love hearing from you all so Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to check this video out. I hope you guys have a fantastic freaking day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below, and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.